Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so uh, welcome to my presentation. First of all, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to report about the new radio, basically my future implementation in Open Air Interface. This is me, Holder Zaifan. Uh, I am a senior system design engineer at Fraunhofer Institute. And this work is a part of Fraunhofer uh, Institute contribution uh, in Open Air Interface 5G roadmap. So, so our agenda for today, first of all, uh, we, we are gonna start with how basically we can run and test the MIMO feature in your radio open air interface. Uh, we will start with the FI simulator, then RF simulator, then if you like to, to run it for real time. So I'm gonna you know, provide you with, uh, with basically how you can run, implement, uh, how you can run and build and run basically the, the open air interface supporting MIMO feature. Then we are going to have a look into the DeFi procedure of the Geno D transmitter supporting the MIMO precoding. Uh, then we, we will discuss our, our uh, simple uh, modification in the simulate multipath channel to support arbitrary number of transmit and receive antenna. Then we are going to have a look at the receive side. So this means we, we, we are going to see how the, the receiver is going gonna, is gonna to be look like for for multi-layer reception. So at the end, I have some results from the file simulator, and even we have uh, some results to show uh, uh, from the real-time uh, setup that we have at Fraunhofer Institute. And with this setup, we support two USRB uh, with four transmit and four receive antenna. So, uh, now, if you would like basically to, uh, to run and test the the new radio MIMO feature, just you can now uh, build the five simulators. And typically uh, all of us uh, know that for any feature we would like to develop, we insert it into five simulator first and we support so many test cases for this. So, and uh, to run it basically, this is the run command. And as you see here, we have many options. So in this case, we should support the number of transmit and receive antenna. This is what we can see in minus Y and minus Z. And even to support uh, one or two layers, so we can change minus X here. Uh, and yeah, it's worth uh, mentioning that to, for two layer MIMO system, uh, the DMRS configuration, uh, we use uh, the DMRS configuration type two, since our our um, channel estimation extension uh, for MIMO system is based on the DMRS configuration type two. And even here, we also insert uh, a new uh, option. It is minus GR. So this is to simulate, uh, in this case, the the really fading uh, MIMO channel. So in, in the shown support, so uh, in, in the shown figure, we, we can support a four by four MIMO configuration up to two layers. So this is, uh, we show how we can run and test the, the MIMO system in downlink sim. Then let us have a look into how we can now run and test it employing the RF simulator. So in the RF simulator, we know that we, we replace the hardware platform with the Ethernet transmission. So this is uh, the basically here the build command, and this is how we can run the, the Gino B, and this is the command for the UE. So here in the configuration file, sure, when we would like to support basically two uh, transmit antenna, so we should ch change here the, the physical downlink shared channel uh, antenna ports and even the, the number of transmit antennas. Uh, we make use of the phi test here and we even we insert a new option, it's minus minus L to support either one or two layers. And even at, uh, at the UE side here, we extend the number of receive antenna up to two four antenna. In the shown basically setup, we can support up to four by four configuration, employing two layers. So 
Well, now with the same configuration, so you can go to the, to the real time and in USRB. We have tested at Fraunhofer Institute, USRB and 310. So in the real time setup, uh, currently we have two transmit and four receive antenna. And we support up to two layers. And again here, so we use here L option to, to change and to test this number of layers. So now we approach to, to the file procedure, you know, of the genome B side. So now we insert the MIMO feature into uh, the downlink shell channel. When you will uh, have a look into the file procedure for the genome B transmitter, you will find mainly three procedures. So the first one is the SS block generation, the second one, the control channel, then our target function and uh, new ready generate BDSCH. This is for basically downlink shared channel generation. So here with I provide with some uh, deep, you know, uh, plot diagram to provide you with the intensive overview about the precoding function that we implement into open air interface 5G. So uh, here with uh, a new radio generate PDSCH, basically we process here the, the MAC PDU that we have from the, the MAC layer. So, and even uh, this MAC PDU is handled in new radio schedule down in the channel. So here with, we, as I told you before, or as I mentioned before, we make use of the file test mode. And here with, we insert this L as an option to support up to two layers so far. Uh, it's worth mentioning that basically under this uh, mode, so we can even change the MCS and the number of assigned resource block either for the downlink and the uplink. So uh, for the testing purposes. So uh, in this figure, I provide you, as I told, uh, before with the detail with the explanation uh, and even for the input of each block. So you are welcome uh, to review it. And if you have any question, you can basically contact me. So uh, yes, now let us move to our small or simple basically modification uh, in the channel disk uh, descriptor and the channel descriptor uh, simulate multipass channel. So basically this is a tool. So it returns a struct. With this struct, we have the whole parameter for a wide variety of 3GPP channel model, as we can see here. So, and when we, we, when we review pay these functions, so we found that it's limited to two by two minus system. So our simple uh, modification, we extend the basic sum of sinusoidal failing simulator now to support an arbitrary number of transmit and receive antenna. And this is the option that we added to this channel to support statistically independent memory fading for the file simulator in the downline cell. So, well, now we approach to our, you know, complete receive structure at the UE side. So in the shown figure, so the received signal, we process the received signal slot in this slot, we have a for loop for the, the number of received on the OBM symbol, which is handed in a new register fed. So after that, we are going to have our frequency domain uh, subcarrier. Then we will go to our channel estimation where we extend it to, to, to estimate the channel from different transmit layers. So now we support my channel estimate. And as I mentioned before, uh, the channel estimation is based on the MRS configuration type two. Again, you are welcome basically to review the, the complete design and have it as a reference for the, the receiver structure that we have currently in uh, new radio operator interface developed branch. So even uh, I would like to say uh, at the end of my presentation, I. I supported additional slide explaining even our, our functionality uh, for the maximum ratio combining and zero forcing combined. So, well, now we approach to our MIMO setup and result. So uh, the shown result, uh, we, we, uh, we run and test the, the MIMO feature using the new radio downlink sim. We limit basically this presentation for two by four MIMO system 
we employ these pre-coding metrics. In addition, so we use this MIMO channel as a test case, so to test our pre-coding functionality. Since this will be our combined MIMO channel with known amplitude and known phase, and this is what we test at the output of the channel estimation. So this, uh, in this figure, we see basically the channel estimation from transmit port zero or transmit layer zero, and in the below figure, we have the received uh, uh, channel estimate uh from uh, transmit layer one so if we basically analyze here our phases so we will find the phases are leading phases as we expect here and here uh, the phases is lagging so as we expect to have in, in our combined mining channel so as i say we use this as a test case before we run it in rf simulator and before we go to real time in addition, so I support our, our result with, uh, with the QAM constellation after the zero pulsing uh, receiver for layer zero and layer one. We run our, our testing scenario for low MCS, for four QAM, for 16 QAM, and for 64 QAM. In addition, I support here the, the LLR. As we can see that basically our open interface is somehow you know uh, close to to the reference however we should you know support our result with the evm computation afterward this result for four and 16 quam this result for 64 quam and now we approach to the real time in the real time we have two use for we connect to a transmit to the four receive uh, antenna then we test our 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 setup and this is what we obtain and uh, for our real time here we use uh, 16 quam and what we obtain is similar to what we expect from the downlink sim when we run the reference model uh, simulation and testing so well now we come to to the summary and outlook i can say now the mimo system uh, or the mimo feature is is implemented in opener interface so we will keep our 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 work until we finish the four by four MIMO, supporting up to four layers, and we welcome more contributors. So from our colleagues in Open Air Interface, even to finish the 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 other feature for the CSI feedback and up to MIMO. So this is what I have here at the end. I would like to thank you so much. And this is the additional slide that I supported here. So with the full functionality. Or you know, I explain here the layer mapping, pre-coding, and even here the DMRS, the pre-coding type one that we intended to design for the downlink shared channel. Uh, yes, this is for different number of ports. So, and even here, this is the receiver design. So, as I say, this is the additional slide. You are welcome to to have it. Yeah, I mean, as a document for for our work. So, thank you so much. And yes.